Welcome to the Device Lab channel. Today, we will be examining the best graphics cards under $600. Prepare for an insightful exploration where I will uncover their exceptional qualities and distinguishing features. Let's delve into the details. Let's dive into what makes the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4070 a piece of tech worth talking about. Right out of the gate, this GPU impresses with its Ada Lovelace architecture, bringing to the table cutting-edge features like a real-time ray tracing DLSS3 for AI accelerated performance and a substantial 12 gigs of GDDR6X memory. Its performance is set to redefine gaming at 1440p, boasting a boost clock speed that hits a high note at 2475 MHz. Not just about power, the RTX 4070 also focuses on efficiency, with a total power usage of 200 watts, promising a cooler and quieter gaming experience. Now, no tech is without its drawbacks. While the RTX 4070 packs a punch in many areas, its launch has raised eyebrows regarding its price point, especially when comparing it to its predecessors and the performance improvements on offer. Additionally, while its power efficiency is commendable, potential buyers might weigh this against the overall performance gains and whether the investment aligns with their specific needs. Comparing it to its peers, the RTX 4070 finds a sweet spot with its DLSS3 support, providing an edge in frame generation technology that could see significant performance boosts in supported games. This, coupled with its advanced tensor and ray tracing cores, sets it a notch above the RTX 3070, offering more than just incremental improvements. Eager to know the latest prices of these models? Dive into the video description. I've included handy Amazon links for every model I've discussed. Feel free to click through while I continue with the review. The AMD Radeon RX 7900GRE, also known as the Golden Rabbit Edition, leaps into the gaming scene with some serious specs under its hood. First off, it packs 16 gigs of GDDR6 memory, ensuring that you've got plenty of space for high resolution textures in today's demanding games. With a boost clock reaching up to 2245 MHz, this GPU promises to deliver silky smooth frame rates at both 1440p and 4K gaming. However, it's not without its challenges. The 260 watt TDP indicates that this GPU will acquire a decent cooling solution and a suggested PSU of at least 600 watts, highlighting the power requirements necessary to achieve its performance levels. What sets the RX 7900GRE apart from its competitors is its impressive array of 5,120 shading units and 80 complete units, all built on AMD's RDNA 3 architecture. This not only offers excellent gaming performance, but also accelerates tasks that benefit from parallel processing power. Don't miss out. Be sure to tap that like button and hit subscribe to stay in the loop with all my latest videos. Your support means the world to me. The AMD Radeon RX 6800 XT is a beast in the realm of graphics cards, boasting an impressive lineup of specs that make it a formidable contender in high-end PC gaming. With a massive 16 gigs of GDDR6 memory and a whopping 4608 shader units, this card is designed to handle the most demanding games and graphical tasks with ease. Its boost clock speed of 2250 MHz ensures that it can deliver exceptional performance, making games look stunning and run smoothly. However, no product is without its flaws. The RX 6800 XT, while powerful, has been noted for having inconsistent frame rates in certain games and driver stability issues that might detract from the overall gaming experience for some users. Compared to its direct competitors, the RX 6800 XT claims a spot near the top, challenging even Nvidia's best offerings. It stands out by offering more VRAM than comparable models from Nvidia, which could be a significant advantage in memory intensive applications and future proofing for upcoming titles. In summary, the AMD Radeon RX 6800 XT is a top tier choice for gamers and content creators who need high performance and are willing to navigate the occasional hiccup. Diving into the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4070 Super, let me tell you this card packs a punch while maintaining a sleek profile. At its heart, this powerhouse operates on a base clock of 1980 MHz, ramping up to a boost clock of 2475 MHz, ensuring your gaming and creative projects run smoother than ever. The 12 gigs of GDDR6X memory is ample for modern gaming requirements, ensuring high resolution textures load in a snap, 
Plus, with a 192-bit memory bus and a whopping bandwidth of 504.2 gigabits per second, this card handles data like a dream. But no hero is without its Achilles heel. The RTX 4070 Super demands a minimum 550-watt power supply, courtesy of its 220-watt TDP. It's something to consider if you're planning a build or an upgrade. Comparing this model to its competitors and predecessors, it finds a sweet spot. The RTX 4070 Super delivers performance improvements noticeable in demanding tasks and games, without skyrocketing the price. Its performance metrics in benchmarks like 3D Mark Time Spy and Ice Storm Unlimited showcase its capability to handle intensive loads, making it a solid choice for those looking to game at high resolutions and frame rates. To wrap up, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4070 Super is a formidable contender in the realm of high-end graphics cards. Its specs cater to gamers and creatives alike, promising to deliver top-notch performance. Whether you're assembling a new PC or upgrading your current rig, this card deserves your consideration. It strikes a balance between power and efficiency, making it a go-to choice for those who demand the best without venturing into the stratosphere of the highest-end GPUs. The NVIDIA RTX A2012 GB is a game-changer in the workstation GPU market, bringing high-end features to a more accessible level. This card, based on NVIDIA's Ampere architecture, packs a solid punch with 12 gigs of GDR6 memory and a 192-bit memory interface, making it capable of handling complex datasets and 3D models with ease. Its 70-watt TDP is impressively low for the performance it delivers, allowing it to fit into smaller workstations without compromising on power. However, it's important to note a few caveats. While the RTX A2000 excels in professional CAD, BIM, and design visualization applications, it might not be the best fit for the most demanding design viz workflows, especially at 4K resolution. The card's performance can drop significantly under such intense loads, making higher tier GPUs a better choice for those specific tasks. Compared to other GPUs in its class, the RTX A2000 stands out for its efficiency and the inclusion of RTX technology, previously available only in higher-end models. This inclusion means users get access to real-time ray tracing and AI-accelerated features in a compact, low-profile card, which is quite an achievement. The NVIDIA Quadro RTX 4000 emerges as a compelling powerhouse in the realm of professional GPUs, leveraging the Turing architecture to deliver substantial improvements over its predecessors. With 2,304 CUDA cores and 36 RT cores, it's tailored for demanding tasks in CAD, 3D modeling, and real-time rendering, boasting 8 gigs of GDDR6 memory to handle large datasets with ease. Its memory bandwidth is impressively high at 416 gigs per second, ensuring swift data processing, and a relatively modest power consumption of 160 watts enables integration into a wide range of workstations without necessitating excessive power supply upgrades. However, no tool is without its limitations. While the Quadro RTX 4000 significantly outperforms older models like the Quadro P4000, especially in applications like SolidWorks and environmental modeling, its performance can vary. For instance, in certain 3D modeling scenarios, such as SOLIDWORKS datasets, the RTX 4000 superiority is evident, showcasing its ability to provide smoother interactions with complex models. Yet, when the demand shifts to ultra-high resolution tasks or advanced visual effects, like real-time anti-aliasing at 4K resolution, even the RTX 4000 may encounter limitations, indicating that the most extreme workflows might still benefit from even higher tier GPUs or multi-GPU setups. Comparatively, the RTX 4000 stands out not just for its raw performance, but also for the additional capabilities brought by the Turing architecture. This includes support for real-time ray tracing and AI-enhanced processes, thanks to its RT and Tensor cores, which are absent in Pascal-based models. These features not only offer a glimpse into the future of graphics rendering, but also provide immediate benefits in supported applications, from enhanced visual fidelity to accelerated workflows. As we wrap up, don't forget that you can find links to all the models I talked about in the description below. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to keep up with future content. And remember, I love hearing from you, so feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments. Until next time, happy exploring!